Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Monday morning, and uh, first off, it was a very chilly weekend. Very chilly weekend. So this week, it's all supposed to be back into the 60s. It's supposed to be in the 70s tomorrow, 70s on Wednesday. 80 Wednesday. Yeah. God. And then rain. It's supposed to come in on Thursday, Friday, Saturday or something. I don't, I don't think it will. But it was so cold. It was, it was so cold that... How cold was it? It was so cold. We went out, and this this last weekend, we had two guys from The Bachelorette, which <clears throat> James Taylor and some other dude named Luke. Luke Pell. And we had so many people that wanted to come. We had so many women that wanted to come. We made a green room outside. You want to pop that up? Yeah. I want y'all to look at this picture. You see this picture right here? <clears throat> now let's just say that my hands were so cold. Oh my God, my hands were cold. That by the time we finished, they weren't cold anymore. No. And my uh, and my big toe, big my toe, foot. my big toe on both my feet were cold. But we made an impromptu green room. Right. And you went down there, and you like you said you didn't stay outside very long. But I did have some people. One of my buddies from Chillicothe who lives here. Younger, way younger than me, said they were down there to watch it, and I said, "Is it cold?" He said, "Yes." I said, "But how's the plastic?" He said, "It's doing fine." He said, "Ain't no wind." So well, there were still people around the fire pit, so we probably could have left the one side down. I was thinking that <clears throat> because people did not care. Yeah. Now I'm gonna tell you a funny story. I go to take a look. My brother brought his right his kids down, his wife, and a couple other their friends, and. I got to catch up with him mainly, <clears throat> and I go to the restroom, I'm standing there, two guys come in, one of them goes, man, I got to the door, $10 cover, man, that's like, now that's the best $10 I ever spent, because <laughs> there was women, girls, yep, it had to be 10 to 1, other people, <clears throat> Oh, it was more than that. It was one. women. Yeah. It was women. But there was guys in there. Okay. As well. Okay. There were some guys in there as well. We count Gary as a woman, so. And there's one in there that kind of looked like Luke. I think he was walking up going, hey, girl. I'm kinda... <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like me up there. So, what we're trying to do is we always try to take care of the public. Where I'm going. We didn't, we, have put, we didn't have to put that plastic up. No. We could have said, hey man, it's cold. It's just cold. Y'all got to stand outside. So for the ones that did appreciate it and sent me a text and you a text and on Facebook, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Watched the Golden Globes last night. I did. I watched a few because I was going back and forth between the Packers and the Giants. And, I, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Billy Bob Thornton won for Goliath. Did you end up watching it? No, I have not watched I it did. yet. I did. I haven't watched it yet. I liked him so much in Fargo, I don't know if I want to watch it. I just, liked him just so a different, much. Just a different character. I know, but I liked him so much in Fargo. Now, he reminded me of Walter Matthau <laughs> and Goliath. All right. Kind of that washed up kind of. Yeah. Anyway. Now, did Viola Davis win for Fences? Or was it Emma Stone? Somebody could help me out here. She, Emma Stone won for La La Land. Right. Viola won Best Supporting Actress. Okay. <clears throat> awesome job. Yes. La La Land, La La, they they killed it. Most killed it. ever, from what I'm when I'm when I read this morning, most ever either nominations or most uh, most Golden Globes. Which one is it? I to, I pulled it up on Google over here, but I, it's uh. Somebody help me I'm out. I'm not sure. Somebody help me out. I'm not sure. Now. Dwayne, get on that. Yes, thank you, Dwayne. Get on that for us. Uh, where was I fixing to go? I was going somewhere with the with the, with the I don't guys. know, but I need to watch Manchester by the Sea. Because Manchester by the Sea. Casey Affleck is one of my favorite actors. From Gone Baby Gone all the way to, to now. He's kind of an unsung now, what did you just say before we went this on? Golden Globes usually means... it's it, that For me, if it wins at Golden Globes, it's the, kind of the real deal. Okay. 
So we'll see. <clears throat> this would be a uh, Academy Award sometime. Yeah, they'll, they'll get you. They'll get you. But uh, we'll, we'll find that out because I do want to see that too. Sophia Biagra. Is that my name? Is that my word? Close enough. The lady from Modern. She had a very, they said, off-color, racy joke, whatever. It spun the Twitter universe into a deal. Something about Sylvester Stallone's girls, you have to look it up, you have to read it, but I saw it this morning and I went, it's not that big a deal. And I didn't really, I'm not going to say it because I didn't read the whole thing, but it didn't seem well, like Well, Street talked good. about foreigners. Well, Donald Trump bashed her, saying she was really not that good of an actress for something she said. Why do we just bash, why, why do we take, why do we just bash people? Why would the president yeah. Take time to do that. Well, I don't understand why it's such a... Find a way to keep gas prices down. Oh, my and gosh. And quit worrying about Meryl Street. Oh, my gosh. All right. Or let gas prices go up in some people's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Area. Uh, <laughs> can, we beat the, can we beat wait, the Packers? We got a good... We got Man a, bond deal. Remember the dude? <clears throat> That's pretty funny. That, that was funny. funny. If you read the deal... Oh, where was that at anyway? On your page? <clears throat> we were talking about... YouTube. I think it was on, on YouTube. YouTube. They were making fun of my man bun. Because I have my man bun shirt on. So I thought that was funny. And uh, kudos to that. I like that. All right. Can we beat the Packers? Yep. After watching last night and knowing that they got to come and play in a very calm climate condition... I hate this, man. I want Jordy to... Nelson, is he out? I hope so. Did he break a rib? I don't know yet. I hope For him not. not to come back, something pretty serious. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I hope so. I got a, I got a bad feeling that, that Aaron Rodgers will be able to pick the Cowboys apart, but I don't think the Packers can stop the run game and it will open up the passing game for the Cowboys. So I think it's a high-scoring shootout, and I just cross my fingers we got more bullets than them. Yeah. Uh, their crazy. kicker hadn't missed a field goal in the postseason since 2011. God, that's crazy. 11. Oh, that's crazy. But I, I'm with you. I think if we can get a little pressure on him, our front four is a little more agile. I'll agree with that. And maybe can get some pressure on him. I'll agree with that. And everybody's back except for, what, Claiborne? Which, yeah. Whichever one of the cornerbacks is out. Ooh, it's going to be, gonna be a good one. It's going to be tough. <clears throat> now, Tonight, and we want you guys to give us your opinion and your pick on Alabama versus Clemson. Uh, it'll be showing at the backyard on the Jumbotron if you guys want to get down there and have a good uh, cold beer and some good food while you're watching it outside. Three dollars. Three dollars? Everything. Oh, my gosh. Except for Hamburger? premiums. Oh, you're talking about drinks. Except for premium drinks. Yeah. And that's your Crown, your Patron, but everything else is three bucks. Three dollars. Three dollars. All right. <clears throat> Who are you taking tonight? I want Clemson to win. So everybody I'm taking else. taking Alabama. So everybody else. I'm if, taking if Alabama he, in a runaway. Listen, if he picked Alabama to win, he has not won a national championship correct pick. I mean, it's been a couple 56 of years. 56 years. It's been 56 years. Since before I was born, I have not got a oh. national championship right I, in the football side. I actually, <clears throat> I actually think Nick Saban. Has his team so ready, and he wants to surpass Bear Bryant, or he ties Bear Bryant, one or the other, either ties or surpass, whatever, to just his legacy is cemented. I think Alabama rolls on. He ha he, I think Clemson's a little better than anybody gave him. Uh, I, I, I agree. Credit for, and if they can run the ball just a little, just a little, and Alabama's quarterback. He will turn the ball over. He will He's turn the ball over. He's playing good, but he will turn the you ball over. You are absolutely over. correct. And that can make a big difference. Belichick and Saban. Yeah. Are they the two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can't. We talked about this the other day. You, they, they, are, they are the... And it's not so much... It's the way they take their players and get them to commit to their program. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, when Saban sent them boys to the dressing room... You know he's he's got it under control. Oh yeah, totally. When they, he didn't let them celebrate, and went y'all go because they weren't yeah. acting right. 
He has yeah. control of his program. Now, <clears throat> we had a big controversy last Thursday night. We got a little uh, early argument at the bowling alley as we talked about the kid from Duke tripping. Yes. <clears throat> Lo and behold, on Yahoo this morning, it has come that did he try to trip another player on Saturday's game? So I watched it as he had a pick from Boston College, and he came over the pick, and then he pulled the Draymond Green and stuck his leg back as he was going over the pick and went, my leg just got kind of knocked out from under me as he went completely backwards in between that guy's legs. And now, of course, we're back up in an uproar of, can this kid, why is he playing? We don't even have to comment on this. I just wanted to say that. Son of a... <laughs> I bowled a 630, so I don't even care what Grayson Allen does anymore. I actually did not bowl a 600 last night. It was well below. Uh, what's our lunch special for today? I don't know. All right, we'll put it up there. If we don't, get down in the backyard, have a good lunch special. You'll probably see us down there around lunch because we have a meeting and we'll be taking down plastic. No, it'll be right here. Ready? Bam! Like it, like it, like it, like it. All right, man, have a, what else we got? Give us your opinions. Uh, um, Mickey and the Motor Cars this weekend. Ooh. If you haven't seen those guys, they are a really talented group. Be at the backyard. Supposed to be in the 60s, you know. It'll so be nice. it'll it'll be a decent little uh decent little night. And then of course, Cowboys coming this weekend. Woo. It's gonna be, gonna be fun. That's gonna be good. Remember, get down here tonight for our Alabama and Clemson watch party. All right, like I always said, I'm gonna start doing this from now on. Watch it, like it, and share it. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are